Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. In this video, we'll continue our series of videos on the HSR, HSM constraint boundary option. Uh, here, we'll be talking about the rest areas option. So the rest areas option relies on the previous use of an HSR or an HSM toolpath so that you can actually determine what the rest material would be from those and actually create a constraint boundary based off of that. So this is a little different than the rest milling option that you find in the HSM, whereas that will generate based off of the previous toolpath as well, but it does it for the overall part or within whatever constraint area you choose. The purpose of the constraint area option is to limit the, the calculation of that toolpath. So let's take a look at how we do that. So we'll go into the toolpath, created manually. I have rest areas already selected and I'll click new geometry. In this case though, it still needs to know the shape of the tool because we're doing rest options here. So it needs to know what, the what my current tool is and what the previous tools, previous toolpaths would have done. So I'm gonna choose a quarter inch ball mill. And under constraint boundaries, I'll choose new. And really all I have to do here is tell it where I'd like to apply this constraint boundary. So either to the whole model or to specific surfaces. And then from this list of the previous HSR and HSM toolpaths, I'll choose whatever boundaries I want to use, whatever the previous uh, toolpaths left behind. So I'm actually going to do it for the whole model. And that way I don't have to choose my surface. And then based off of the geometry left behind by let's say, we'll do the offset cut. It'll analyze the previous toolpath, what that toolpath would have done, what was left behind in the solid model, updated stock, and then we should see what chain is left behind. In this case, that toolpath pretty much did only that area there. This is a uh, this is the toolpath that you would have seen in our HSM training video on the offset cutting option. So pretty much I only got it to do that one area. So the rest option from that is the entire solid. You can see that green sketch that represents the working area for this particular toolpath. So you can choose your own specific um, uh, HSM or HSR technology that you'd like to use, and the constraint boundary will determine what the rest material would be. So this relies fully on the shape of your tool and any geometry, any any remaining stock left behind by a previous HSR or an HSM toolpath. This is a constraint boundary based off of that rest material. Any questions on this or anything else, you can always give us a call, but stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this playlist and the overall YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.